Huh, where did she go? What's going on in here? What? How did you? Rita, I saw. Oh shit. What the hell is wrong with you, Freddy? You were supposed to make sure nobody came in. I'm sorry, I was. I don't want excuses. Just get her out of here. Ah! Hang on, who is this? Nobody you need to worry about. Freddy, get her out of here. Relax, I'll take care of it. Don't get our sis even more upset than she already is. She's. Your sister? Freddy! Go ahead, try and touch me. See how that goes for you. I'll leave you alone as soon as you give me back my crossbow. No, my sister and her baby need protecting. All this stuff? Have you been stealing it to help your sister? You think anyone else in this rat hole is gonna do it? No, it's all up to me. If I can help you with your sister, will you give me back my crossbow? What are you, a doctor or something? No, but I know one, and I've got a direct line to him on that radio you took from me. Really? See for yourself. Hello? Is anyone there? Amy, is that you? No, my name is Rita. I'm here with Amy. She says you're a doctor and that you can help. I am, and I'll do my best. What seems to be the problem? My sister is in labor, and my brothers and I don't know what to do. I see. The first and most important thing you all need to do is relax. I'll guide you through every step of the process, but you'll need to listen carefully to my instructions. Uh, okay. Can you put Amy on, please? Sure. Hey, Doc. I can't imagine conditions in there are particularly hygienic. They aren't, no. Do you by any chance have access to water? Actually, yes. We're in an abandoned supermarket that's got plenty. Excellent. What about any sort of instruments, like scissors or something sharp? Yeah, I've got a few here. Perfect. Amy, I need you to boil the water in order to sterilize the instruments. You'll need a container to keep the water in, and some way to heat it up. Do you think you can manage? I think so, yes. Good. Put Rita back on so I can tell her what to do. Here you go. I'm gonna go see about getting that water. Okay. Thank you, Amy. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm just gonna go get some air. I'll be back. Rita, can I take this kettle? Whatever helps, go ahead. I probably shouldn't drink this, but I'll take a jug. I'll just fill it about halfway. Ugh, this isn't the way I was hoping to do this. Rita, here. I got you the boiling water. Great. Ricky, take over here a second. Hey, thank you for this. I'm sorry about earlier. I'm not normally like that. Don't worry about it. You were desperate. Yeah. Anyway, you kept your end of the deal, so here's your crossbow. I had a couple of bolts lying around, too. I figure you can use them more than I can. Thanks. Before I go... My friend is working on a permanent cure for green lung. That's why I'm here. Say what? If all goes to plan, we'll have enough of it to cure everyone soon. 
You won't have to worry about staying here anymore. You're telling me this now? It's not like you were receptive to new information before. Just focus on helping your sister. Once I get back, your family will be safe soon enough. Thank you, Amy, and good luck. Okay, this is the one shot that really counts. Nice going. I think we're ready. Would you do the honors? Thanks for the help, Gordon. I promise this will be worth it. I believe you. Even if I don't live to see my daughter again, at least I did something at the end. Oh no! Gordon, quick! Grab the sides! Amy! Where are you? Hanging off the end of the chute! Stay still, I'm coming! Oh, that was close. I guess I underestimated the Ministry of Energy. That door over there? I think that's the way out of here. You're probably right. Now we just need to figure out how to get over there. Crazy enough that it just might work. Right, here I go. Amy, are you okay? I'm fine. Now I just need to figure out a way to get you over here. This rope is still in good condition. I just need to untangle it. Right, one bolt on a rope, coming up. Gordon, watch your head. Nice! I sure hope I can do this. Phew, that was a close one. Nice work back there. Thanks. Do you have any idea where we're going? Not yet, but if we're in a subway tunnel, we should be on the right path back outside the quarantine zone. Gordon? Hmm? Gordon, could you help me move that debris? No problem. There you go. Thanks. Hmm, there's a rusty metal bar in here. Might be good for something. Come on, let's keep going. Well, how about that? You know where we are? I do. And it's time I told you something. What? Remember I said I had seen a permanent cure for green lung? There's a doctor waiting at the top of this building. He's got the cure. And he asked me to find someone who's terminal to be a test subject. I volunteered myself. But I still need to help him get his research for mass producing the cure once it's been tested. Which is another issue entirely. I'm sorry I didn't mention all this before. But I wanted to be sure we could escape first. I know it's a lot to take in. What would I have to do? I'm not entirely sure. The doctor will be able to explain it to you. We don't know what the side effects might be. And there's a chance it might not even work. But we have to try. Do you want to go through with it? Amy, 
You've given me a second chance. I'll do anything to help cure Green Lung. Great. It's just up these stairs. Amy, you're back. And I brought a friend. Come on in, Gordon. Is... is that... Dr. Edwin Aquino, pleasure to meet you. You're... the Reaper? You didn't tell him? I didn't think he'd believe me. Fair enough. Yes, the Reaper is a persona I created in order to do my work in secret. What's really important is that you have volunteered to test my green lung cure. I cannot thank you enough, and I'm sure the entire population will feel the same way once they've been cured. So what is it you need me to do? I'll explain everything, but first, there's another matter I need to take care of. You said you were able to get the servos? I've got them right here. Good. How long do you think it will take to repair the birds? Less than an hour. Excellent. I'm going to take our friend into the next room and get him started on the treatment. I'll be back in a while to see how you're doing. Okay, I'll get to work then. Follow me, if you would. I think that should do it. Perfect. We have one raven for each floor of the tower. We should be able to locate my research in no time. And now we watch and wait. Aha, uh -huh. there, through that window. Can you see? Yes, a bookcase being guarded. It's on the 36th floor. Now we just have to determine how you're going to get into the tower. That shouldn't be a problem. I know someone who's pretty good at figuring out ways to sneak into government buildings. Then I wish you luck, Amy. I'll be keeping an eye on you with the Ravens. If you need anything, I'll be here. Oh, and might I suggest leaving that arm with me? It would help my research and, frankly, draw less attention to you. Of course. Here. Hey, Doctor? Yes? Is Rita's sister all right? She's fine, as is her son. You did well in helping them, Amy. Rita sounded very grateful. Hopefully they'll be able to get out of there soon. Yes, hopefully. The quarantine zone is no place for a child. I'll just get to it then. Good luck, Amy. Hello? Danton! Bruce, are you still in here? Amy? You're alive? I heard they had gotten you at Willowdale Plaza. They tried, but not hard enough. I'm breaking into Tiberius's tower. Can you help me? Come again? He's got the research to mass-produce a cure for Green Lung. We have to get it. Are you sure? Are you absolutely sure? I've been working with the doctor who developed it. He used to work for the Ministry of Medicine, but when he found out they were hoarding vaccine, he went rogue. Sounds like a good man. Why haven't I heard of him before? Surely you've heard of the Reaper. He created the disguise to work in secret. This. This is perfect. The opportunity to strike is finally here. Danton, wait. She tells you the Reaper is a doctor, and you're just going to spring an attack? We don't have enough men or supplies to do this safely. We could lose everything. If we don't act now, we've already lost everything. How can you say no? We'd thwart Tiberius and pure Green Lung in one night. Because we can't do it. Danton, this isn't a game. People will die. You think I treat this like a game? It's because of me. Both of you, stop! No wonder this revolution hasn't gone anywhere. What would we need in order to mount an effective assault on the Ministry of Energy? We need to find an access point to sneak in. Going through the front doors would be suicide. Some way of approaching the tower from above, or even underground, would be ideal. 
We also need to find a way to lure the guards at the base of the tower outside. Yes, that's perfect. If we distract them, we can ambush them and weaken their defenses. Okay, so a way in and a distraction. I'm on it. Good. We'll begin preparing the troops. Hey, Jess? What is it, Amy? I was wondering if you and your flock could help me. Of course, Amy. What do you need? I need to get inside the Ministry of Energy. But to do so, I'll need a distraction. Would you be able to provide one? A... distraction? Yes. I was thinking if you could stand outside the tower and play music or chant or something. You disappoint me, Amy. I thought you were better than that. I didn't mean to offend you. I just thought... I'm sure you did. In any case, unless the Reaper himself provides guidance on the matter, I won't see my people used as a mere distraction. I see. Have a good day. May death come to you swiftly, fellow Seeker. Hey, Doctor? Yes? Can you come with me to the Cathedral of St. Stephen? What for? The Reaper cultists aren't cooperating, and I think you might be able to talk some sense into them. Hmm. Is this a good idea? Yes. I think it's about time they realize the truth about things. Fair enough. I'll meet you there soon. Jess, are you busy? We just finished our noon prayer. What is it? I need you outside, right now. Bring the others, it's important. If this is about your request, use us as a distraction. Please, just trust me. You and everyone else here, you need to see what's outside. Fine. Acolytes, Sister Amy has something she wants us all to see. So, what is it we're supposed to see? The Reaper! His worship! He's, he's finally here for us! Oh, blessed day! Please, your worship! Take me first! I am ready to die! It will be an honor to die at your hands, your worship. Enough! It... it can't be. It can, and it is. I'm very sorry to disappoint, but you've all been worshipping a doctor in disguise. But how can that be? Everyone dies when you're near. My name is Dr. Aquino. I developed a cure for green lung by studying those who have died from it. This outfit was only intended to scare people away. I had no idea it would have such an effect on all of you. I saw you. You were bent over Wilson's body. He had just died. You took his arm. Yes, I remember you. You stared at me, and I was afraid you would approach. I am sorry for the trickery. I had no idea this would happen. So what do we do now? I was ready to die with you, you imposter! Just kill me! Kill me now! Everyone, just stop! Don't you get it? He has a cure for Green Lung. Nobody has to die anymore. Nobody! She speaks the truth. All I need to cure everyone are my research notes from Tiberius' tower. We need help sneaking inside. If you can help us distract the guards, we can do it and get what we need. If we distract the guards, we'll probably die there. How can you tell us we have hope to survive by doing the most dangerous thing possible? Ten minutes ago, you were praying for death. Why not die helping your families, your town, yourselves? Jess, you've led all these people to believe that there's something better after death, and that there's a promised land. Why not help the world we live in become that promised land? I... I'll do it. Wonderful. Then meet at the Ministry of Energy this evening. We'll do all we can to keep you safe. Amy, I'll see you once you've gotten my research. Count on it. Thank you all. I'll see you tonight.
So you're back. Excuse me. What? Do you know if there's underground access to the Ministry of Energy? Of course. One of the subway lines ran right underneath the tower. You're not planning on sneaking in there, are you? I am, actually. What on earth for? It's a long story, but I need to get something from inside, and I can't go through the front door. Huh. Well, I'm not gonna ask any questions, but if you're set on it... Give me a second. I'll be right back. Here you go. It's not to scale, but if you follow this map, it should take you to where you want to go. Thanks. I hope you know what you're doing. I'll just be on my way. Alrighty. Danton? What is it, Amy? I've got everything we need to assault Tiberius' tower. Are you absolutely sure? Positive. The Reaper cultists will provide the distraction we need, and I've got a map showing how to access the tower from underground. Excellent. We have no time to lose. Bruce, go get Amy those bolts from the weapons cache. She'll need as many as we can spare. I really hope you know what you're doing. Don't mind him, Amy. He doesn't fully understand the importance of this opportunity. You've done well. Soon, the aristocracy will be remembered as nothing more than a bad dream. Here, this should be enough to keep you safe. Thanks. Good. Bruce, you'll lead the ambush team. Amy and I will follow her map and enter the tower from below. Once the distraction is in place, I want you to unleash hell. The aristocracy must feel the sting of our blades. Don't worry. We'll have you covered. Good luck to you. I look forward to celebrating our victory. Likewise. Here, according to the map, we should be right underneath the tower. Hmm. I can't see any way to get inside. There has to be. I'll have a look around. It seems to be connected to the ladder. Nice work. This should be a good way in. Are you ready? Yes. Head up and see where the trapdoor leads. I'll radio Bruce and make sure everyone is in position. Right. Rejoice, rejoice, for the Reaper is near. Soon this life will be but a memory, and the spoils of the Promised Land will be everyone's for the taking. Brothers and sisters, join me in adoration of our Savior! Here now, this is private property. You'll need to take your celebration somewhere else. But, brother, our mission is to spread the word of the Reaper across the land. Be that as it may, you are not allowed to gather here. Please disperse at once. Ah, you are fortunate. You will soon know the Reaper. How I envy you. What are you... What the... Sounds like some kind of commotion outside. Come on, we'd better check it out. Inside the belly of the beast at last. Disgusting. We'll have much to change when we come into power. Right. Enough dawdling. We need to get moving. Lead the way, Amy. Come on. The elevators are this way. We're getting through that elevator. I suggest you surrender now. Fine. We'll do this the hard way then.
Thanks for the help. He was a tough one. Don't mention it. Dr. Aquino said the research was kept on the 36th floor, so that's our next stop. After you. How are you feeling? Just fine. Just fine? You're not scared or worried or anything? I've been scared too much of my life, Amy. So has everyone else. It's why we're in this situation. We could die today, you know. Maybe, but my last moments will be spent ridding the world of tyranny. If anything happens, I have this car I'm fixing. Could you make sure my friend Gordon gets it? Of course. In the event of my passing, return my hat to Bruce. Our mother will need to know. Sure. Is that what you're looking for over there? Yes, but when I saw it at Dr. Aquino's, it was being guarded. Hmm, something about this doesn't feel right. See what you can find. I'll cover you from here. No, no! What's the matter? There's nothing here. Dr. Aquino's notebook is gone. No, that can't be. It can't just have vanished. Tiberius must have taken it somewhere else. We'll find him and we'll make him tell us where it is. Come on, we've just got a few floors left to go. All right, let's keep heading up. Right behind you. Don't worry, Amy. We're almost there. I can't wait to see the look on Tiberius' face when... What was that? Damn, the elevator stopped. They must have realized where we are. We've got to get out of here. We're sitting ducks. I'm gonna try and pry the door open. Maybe we can escape that way. I can't quite reach it. Excellent. We can climb up to the next floor and figure out a way to keep going from there. More guards? Just what is Tiberius afraid of? No matter. Danton, wait! Stand down, wighead scum! Nice going, Amy. You'd make your father proud. It's the elevator maintenance panel. Okay, shouldn't be much further now. Are you ready? Just one second. I need to check in with Bruce. Bruce. Come in, Bruce. Do you copy? Hmm, there's a lot of dead down there. Hard to tell from up here, but I think they're mostly guards. We need to move. They'll be coming for us. Come on, let's go! What? Who are... Where is Tiberius? And where is he keeping the Green Lung research? You! You're Danton! At your service. I won't ask politely again. Where is Tiberius and where is he keeping the research? He... he's up those stairs. He has the research with him. He was planning on using it as a bargaining chip. But please, have mercy. Tiberius is not well. He... believes things are not as they are. What are you talking about? I... took advantage of his weaknesses. I have not been honest with him about my abilities. A fraud psychic. How original. I am not proud of what I have done. Please, I beg of you, spare my life. 
I promise to atone for my mistakes. But I implore you, be gentle with Tiberius. He doesn't understand the truth. This guy's a real piece of work. What do you think, Amy? Should we spare him? Yes, he spent many years advising Tiberius. He might be of some use to us. Very well. Leave now. We'll talk later. Thank you. Come on, we're almost done. Do not fret. We aren't in any danger. The rebels will be defeated. Soon things will go back to exactly as they were, and it will be as though none of this ever happened. I love you too, son. Tiberius, your time is nearly over. Ah, you must be the elusive Danton. And Miss Weller, you're still alive. No thanks to you. Esteemed guests, how lovely of you to break into my home. What is it you want? We're putting an end to your reign, Tiberius. This all ends right here, right now. <laughs> how cute of you! Do you think you can waltz in here and fix this city's problems simply by killing me? It's a start. Do you really think the aristocracy will end with me, that it cannot function on its own? A government has no strength without its head. I'm taking over. Oh, and how do you intend to do that? By becoming you. What? I will wear your mask and clothes. I will become the new Tiberius. Then I will bring down the aristocracy from the inside. How delightfully idealistic! Tell me, how much blood will stain your hands in pursuit of this goal? Less than yours. And if you do manage to bring about this change you so desire, how will you handle the plague or outside forces who wish to attack? Greenlung won't be a problem for much longer. We know you've got the research to mass produce a cure. Your old friend, Dr. Aquino, will see to that. He lives as well? Yes, he's the Reaper. <laughs> of course. It makes perfect sense. I think this little charade has gone on long enough. I couldn't agree more. No! What were you- My boy. My sweet, wonderful boy! How could you? You detestable hag! Do you realize what you've done? Oh, my beautiful boy! My only son! That thing is your son? Hold your tongue, or I will feed it to the ravens, Willard! So that's what the soothsayer meant when he said, Oh, God. Do you see, Tiberius? This is the real world. Your family is dead. The city is a mess. Your delusions hurt everyone around you. Amy, this is up to you. Set your sights on his heart. Go ahead, Amy. Finish him off. Put the pathetic creature out of his misery so we can rebuild. Miss Willard, you cannot let her be in charge of a new government. She will ruin more than she will build. If you spare me, I will make sure that you and those you hold dear are taken care of. You'll want for nothing. Order must be maintained, but we can make things better. Slowly. Peacefully. Don't listen to any more of his lies, Amy. Only a flood can fix a drought. <laughs> this will change nothing. Good work, Amy. You chose well. So, what happens now? We've got a lot ahead of us. It won't be easy. I'll dispose of him, then take the Reaper his research so he can get to work on the cure. From there, we'll figure out who is loyal to our cause and who isn't. 
and cut down those who oppose us. You did a good job here today, Amy. I thank you for your service. Not a problem. Now if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. We'll be in touch. You must be Dr. Aquino. Amy told me all about you. And you must be Danton. I have to say I'm surprised to see you in Miss Wellard's place. Is she alright? Oh, she's fine. I just felt it was more suitable to return your research myself. After all, we'll be working together to produce this cure. I only hope there are still people left alive to be cured once all is said and done. More people live, thanks to me, than would ever flourish under the aristocracy. Oh, I don't doubt you'll bring change to the city. I just question your methods. The grass always questions the boulder that rolls quickly down the hill. But soon enough, you'll see how much we grow. Yes, I hear blood is a phenomenal fertilizer. I'm sure we'll be seeing plenty of it. Maybe so, but in the end, we'll be free of the aristocracy. We'll see what happens. At the very least, Green Lung will be eradicated. Perhaps once the disease is taken care of, you might consider more diplomacy? I'm not unreasonable. Our ultimate goal is a peaceful existence. Then at least we can agree to a better future. I think we should part ways for now. There's lots of work to be done. Good luck to you, Doctor. The Resistance thanks you for your service. And to you. November 9th. 21 years since the bombs fell. Danton stuck Tiberius's head over the entrance of the Ministry of Medicine. People waiting in line for their cures were both amazed and terrified. Her revolution against the other ministries had many recruits who quickly went to their deaths. Sometimes I wonder if all this bloodshed was worth it. I've lost more friends and loved ones in the past year than I can count. But at the same time, they met their ends with pride. They died with dignity. I suppose in this dusty, dying place, that's all you can really ask for. Thank you. 